In this video, we're going to be using Cold River Soapworks Winter LE in the Glide Base and the Blackland Razor Saber Single Edge Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're going to be using Cold River Soapworks. This is Winter uh, Limited Edition, which is a seasonal. So this is this will only be available during the winter season here, and this is in the Glide Base, which I have never tried before. You know I'm not a base person, but I like to try new things. Uh, this comes to you from Cold River at $20.95 for four ounces, and on our cost chart there, it's in the pricey range. It's a $5.23 per ounce, but we have always had good luck with Cold River Soapworks. It is a very nice soap, and I had no <laughs> lathering issues uh, with this today. I've got it whipped up. It's really, really beautiful. Uh, the scent on this, um, I like how they put it right here on the label. Ozone, cranberry, pine. We'll show you how they describe it right there. This is, to me, it reminds me of Christmas, like a Christmas tree and, and maybe things in the house, or if you were to be outside in evergreens, maybe in the snow. It is a really nice scent that I like, but it really reminds me of Christmas. So I think I'm going to certainly keep this and use it around Christmas time as a holiday soap, but I don't think it's a, exclusively uh, a soap in terms of scent that's for Christmas. It's just what it reminds me of. And, I, and that puts a smile on my face because I love Christmas. The uh, ingredients right there, it definitely has all the ingredients you want in terms of skin food, aloe, cocum, shea butter, cocoa butter, vitamin E, the dragon tallow, the super blue emu, the unicorn milk, the chupacabra oil, as I like to call it. Uh, it has all those ingredients in it, but it still lathers very well, and that is the key. All right, on to the razor. Today, we're going to be using the Blackland Razors. This is the Saber, and this was kindly loaned to me from Jeremy, the traveling shaver. I'll take it apart real quick for you. This uses the gym style blades, which I'll show you right here if I can get it out. It's a little bit fidgety to load for me. And there's a gym style blade. This is carbon, so you'll see that discoloration on it. And what I'm gonna do is just lay it sort of in the top cap here. And there is your top cap, which has a very interesting post on it. You can see it's not round. It's similar to the vector, kind of in that regard. And there is your base plate. And as I, I find it to be slightly fidgety, but not too much. If you load it in the top cap first like that, I find it easier to load than setting it on the base plate. Goes on like so. This is a an all stainless uh, steel razor. It's made of, what is it, 303 stainless steel. We'll put the specs right here for you. I like that Blackland puts their specs on their razors and puts them all together like that. It's very nice. Nice hefty hand, handle. Uh, I'm using the level two plate, which is on their scale 5.5 out, out of 10 in aggression. So we expect a pretty uh, efficient shave. And there we have it with the blade loaded. And we look forward to using this today. So let's get going. Uh, we have our standard 24 hours of growth. Today we're gonna wet the face. I am using my AP Shave Co. brush today. I don't know what this one is called. I picked it up. It was an AP Shave Co. drop. But look at the lather on this one. Very, very nice. In our Captain's Choice bowl. And there's, <laughs> for those of you who are curious, there's the amount of lather that, or amount of soap I put in there, which was about a quarter teaspoon, which is typically what I use. And it yielded a really, from my perspective, beautiful lather. So no lathering woes at all today. Uh, and honestly, I'm not gonna, obviously I'm not gonna drone on about the Zyroff. I've made two videos on that. I will be revisiting it because there's been some comments made in, uh, and that I need to answer, but we won't do that in this video. We'll we'll break that out in a separate video. But this was easy to lather, and it yielded a lot of volume. So it's it's certainly different from my experience with the uh, with that particular soap. And we will send that soap back, by the way, uh, Mr. Zaharoff asked. So I will. But again, we don't want to we don't want to uh, get that going in this video. We'll address all this in a separate video. Okay. Beautiful lather there. I'm really, really happy about that. Let's rinse off our hands and let's give this uh, glide base a try. Now, one thing I want to mention is as of the date of this recording, this soap is available. So if you like the idea of, say, pine, um, cranberry, ozone, really, really nice, I would say get it while the opportunity is there because a lot of times 
Cold River soaps are sold out. And that feels good. There is some blade feel. That feels nice, honestly. I'm liking that a lot. Huh, very nice for the first few strokes there. It does feel efficient. It is quite hefty. Again, it's made of that stainless, 303 stainless. And uh, that's nice. The blade is working well. This is just the second use on this blade, so not a lot of use on it. That feels quite nice, I must say. So, Jeremy, I can tell already why you like this razor. Um, it's feeling very good, very smooth. And I think for, uh, Nate from BBS Live told me, I don't think he cared for this razor, but it's feeling pretty good for me. I'm liking it, to be honest with you. Uh, it is efficient, for sure. So if you like razors in the mild realm, maybe you would need to try that level one plate. And even then, I don't know if it's exactly mild, but this feels good. So this one is one that uh, I don't think, if you prefer a little more blade feel, you'd be disappointed with, That's with this level two head. Um, I'm, I'm really liking the feel of this and the soap is working magnificently. Again, we have that bump, I believe it was on this side of my face. So if we scalp that, we certainly won't count it, but that's feeling pretty good. That is nice. Hmm. I'm surprised. I didn't know by looking at this razor, I, I really didn't know how it would shave, you know, because honestly, by the looks, I like the looks of it, but, you know, I wasn't blown away and I was like, hmm, I don't know about this, but I, I must say, based on that first pass, uh, I'm becoming a believer because that felt really good. So, you know, that's, that's always nice. And Folks, that is the goal here, to enjoy the shaves every single day. And I'm looking for a great outcome every single day. And I get it, you know, in the 90, high 90 percentile of the time. I don't ever come on here to, to make a product look bad. Whatever happens, happens, you know, and that's just the way it is. I, I don't come in here with an agenda. It, my agenda is advocate for the hobby, make these videos, enjoy the products that I'm using because I don't buy products with the idea that I'm not going to like them and, I, and then I'm going to crap all over them. That's not why I do this. I don't have any interest in doing it and I'm not going to. But if something doesn't work well, I'm going to tell you. And if something works great, I'm also going to tell you. And then you can use that however you see fit. I'm not asking you to buy anything. And also I'm not asking you not to buy anything, more importantly. So please keep that in mind while we cut that back a little bit. And that first pass was nice. And this called River Soap Works. It is an underrated soap, I'm gonna tell you. I don't know why we don't see as much of it. I suspect it's because a lot of times when you go to the website, a lot of the offerings are not in stock. Larry, who I've talked to on the phone uh, a number of times, uh, did put on his card, you know, we should catch up and maybe I'll give Larry a call and ask him what he has planned for business. Cause I'm telling you right now, this soap right here is it is good, and that is slick. You can just, <laughs> that is a very slick soap. It smells great. I mean, it just reminds me of Christmas. And I love Christmas, so. Loving the razor, too. So, so this is a really enjoyable shave. And yes, this soap is a little bit more pricey. You know, about $5 an ounce. But I am happy with this soap entirely. I don't have any buyer's remorse. I also bought the Shappen Milk Soap that Larry has up there. And I must say, if you're one of those people that really like a, uh, a nice creamy lather, this one is hitting the spot today. It is slick. It, uh, it does have the skin food in there if you're interested in that. You know me, it's not something that I necessarily require, but I do like it when the soap lathers well. <laughs> and it does. So Larry has done a beautiful job with this soap. And again, it doesn't get the attention that the other artisans do. And I think primarily because I don't know that it's, I don't think they have any stock lists. And in fact, I don't know that Larry makes enough that he would even be interested in it. But boy, I wish more people would have get their hands on this uh, so they can give feedback because I think it's excellent. This soap is... Uh, it is as good as advertised, and I've heard several people talk about it. 
I saw John Shaves um, use it the other day. He wasn't doing backflips over it, but he did say it was good. For me, I'm just gonna be honest with you. Based on this run and based on what I'm feeling here and based on the lather, I'm gonna tell you right now, I feel this soap is as good as anything out there. <laughs> I don't care what it is. It's going to hang with anything, the best of the best, you know, what people consider to be the best of Kaisens and milk steaks and all that. This soap is going to run with it, and it might be better than some. Um, I think it's very good. And I am impressed. And even at the price, um, since this is a magnificent scent that I'm really enjoying, I'm, I'm completely happy with it. So, you know, sometimes you get a home run, and today is one of those days and everything is just working well. By the way, this this brush, this AP Shave Co. brush, this got a 30 millimeter cashmere knot. This came to me, to my door from Canada for $50, $54 or something like that. It was it was less than 60 bucks. And this is a um, hand turned. I don't know where it's turned or who turns it, but what a value. I mean, it's really hard to get a brush that is uh, crafted by hand for that price these days. And so AP Shave Co, I really, you know me, their synthetic knots are my very favorite. And this brush here is magnificent. And boy, this lathers, whoo. <laughs> this is a soap I can tell you right now. This Glide, this is good stuff. Uh, so Junior, the dude of shaving and uh, my co-host on uh, Real Talk, uh, So Sharp David, they were both talking about this soap and how good it is. And they are not wrong. <laughs> this stuff is good. So I encourage you, if you want to get it, and again, I'm not trying to sell you anything. But if you want to get it, I would recommend that you get it quickly. Because again, uh, he doesn't keep a lot of stock around. Honestly, I wish he kept more in stock because I would like more people to try it. And when, uh, I don't know if he'll be remaking this this season or not either. So it's available now. That's the main thing. So grab it if you want to. Oh, if the scent sounds appealing to you. Otherwise you can try maybe his other soaps in the glide base. And uh, I will tell you right now, based on my experience today, I will definitely be buying more Cold River Soapworks glide. It is very good, as good as anything out there as far as I'm concerned. And I think there are others who will echo my thoughts on that. Um, because look, for me, you know, I have a lot of soaps that I really love. I love Sterling, I love Tizen, I love, you know, a little bit of everything. I love Shannon's, you know, but when I use a soap like this that really impresses me as this one has today, I, I will certainly add it to my love list as well, <laughs> you know. And uh, wow, the razor is is very nice, Jeremy. I can see why you like it. You have probably cost me some money by uh, by loaning me this razor <laughs> because I will probably end up getting it at some point. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned the cost on this. This is $185, so it's not cheap. But again, this is one of those razors you need to think of as a lifetime investment. If you think of it that way, I think it's easier to sort of justify the cost, you know. Um, otherwise, it's it's a hard sale. But in terms of effect effectiveness, I'm liking this gym shave as much as any other gym shave I've ever done. Uh, and that says a lot. I don't use these razors a ton, but I'm finding this one to have the efficiency I like while being smooth. It's got enough blade feel to let me know what I'm doing, but not too much. And so for me, that's a win. And so I don't think I will, I will even need to use this razor anymore. I will package it up and send it back to Jeremy right away. Um, but uh, I'm definitely impressed and I have been definitely enjoyed using it. It, it is a... Uh, this is just a nice razor. Shaving a little high up there, but let's just go ahead and go after that lather just to give us, give us an excuse to make a few more strokes. Very nice razor.
Again, I would say Blackland is right that it is at least 5.5 in aggression. I, I think based on Blackland's uh, listed aggressions, I would tend to take it a half a notch to a notch higher personally, but this is nice. It's probably the best feeling Jim Razor I've ever used. And I know Fuzzy will not like that, but it just feels great in the hand. It feels uh, substantial, and I, I like that. That was a really smooth shave. So, Nate, I don't know why you didn't like this. Um, I think Nate said that those, the blade stops there, he felt them, and I'm not feeling it at all. I don't know, maybe we just shaved differently, but I really like that shave a lot, and I love this. So let me rinse, and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, and we're back with the Magic Made by Witches. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber, which you see here every day, and I've just put it in a spray bottle. The links for the products used today will be below. And I want to remind you that the Glide is a LE for the winter season, so get it while you can. It was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. So all the people who are praising the soaps, in my view, they're right. <laughs> This is a really great soap and I enjoyed it a lot. The Blackland Razor Saber using the Gem Style Blade. Absolutely terrific. Thank you, Jeremy, the traveling shaver for allowing me to use it. I really enjoyed it. At some point, I will get it <laughs> because I love it. Uh, it, is, it has the best combination of efficiency and smoothness that I think I've ever used in a Gem Style Razor. And that's saying a lot because I've used many. Um, really, really nice. Our AP Shave Co. Uh, brush with Cashmere Knot. Uh, just absolutely phenomenal. Again, this was like 50 some dollars to my door. Hand turned, you can't beat that. We have our trusty Captain's Choice Copper Bowl. I'm gonna close it out today with, uh, again, this is Razor Rock Irish Countryside just because I'm trying to use it up. I wanna thank everybody for watching. This was just a, boy, this was a, <laughs> this was a fun and good shave. I'm happy with all the products and it's really great to be back to just enjoying these magnificent shades. I hope wherever you are, you're having magnificent shades as well, and I hope you have a great day. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.